Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So today I wanted to show you some of the best VPNs that you can use. Now, while I'm talking about free VPNs, I'll also talk about some of the best premium VPNs. If you're interested in any of those, I'll get into all of it later. But for now, let's talk about what you can get for free. Now, here's the thing. Free VPNs are normally VPNs that I do not recommend because a lot of free VPNs end up stealing your data and they record your online activities and logs and sell it to third party advertisers, which is one of the reasons why you may be getting a lot of spam emails and very precise advertising. Not to mention that there are other restrictions that I'll be talking about as we get into these VPNs. Now, as far as collecting data and privacy, these three VPNs are great. We're talking TunnelBear, Proton VPN and Atlas VPN. Okay, so let's just begin with TunnelBear. This is the only VPN that I have installed myself because it's actually pretty useful. It can be very handy at times, especially if my paid VPN subscription, let's say, is off at the moment or I haven't been able to resubscribe in time or anything like that. And I want access to a VPN or I haven't been able to resubscribe in time, let's say. TunnelBear is always a great choice, especially if I'm looking for a huge variety of countries, all with the free package. Now, sure, there's a two gigabyte data cap here, which is not that great, and you can get an extra gigabyte if you tweet about them. But at the end of the day, this is a VPN that's giving you all these locations for free, not to mention that you're free to use all of the features that are also available with TunnelBear. Not too many features, but they're still quite useful. So if you're looking for a free VPN that gives you a lot of locations, you can go with TunnelBear. Bear, but again, the problem is you've got a very small data cap here. Now, for a slightly bigger data cap and the ability to potentially stream and torrent, you can torrent with Atlas VPN. But of course, the restriction here is that you're going to be restricted to three free locations only. There won't be any speed limits, so you can torrent at your full speeds. But again, a five gigabyte data cap will be applied on Atlas VPN. But the cool thing is you can install Atlas VPN on any of your devices for free, and it will still work with just one account. So if you're looking to secure an unlimited number of devices, you can go with Atlas VPN. There won't be any speed limits, but there will be a five gigabyte data cap. And if you're lucky, you'll be able to stream and definitely torrent. Now, if you're not a big fan of data caps, then this is where Proton VPN will come in clutch. Proton VPN has no data caps. You can keep using it for as long as you'd like. There's more than three locations. I think there's like five to six locations for free. And it's overall a super safe VPN, probably the best free VPN out there, I would say, especially that they have a very strict no logs policy. And it's honestly really hard to question Proton VPN's no logs policy when they're the founders of Proton Mail, which is a free, secure email service that offers end-to-end -end encryption for messages between users, and they've been doing this for a long time. So as far as privacy, and if you want to feel as secure as possible, you can go with Proton VPN, especially if you don't like data caps uh, being applied on your free VPN. But again, there will be a speed cap. So yeah, you won't be able to use the full speeds of your internet connection. You'll be getting that with uh, Atlas VPN instead. Now, if you're not exactly willing to put up with any of the restrictions here, and you just want a VPN that will allow you to fully stream with your full speeds, it works great for torrenting, no data caps, strict no locks policies. And again, they work perfectly for streaming and torrenting. Well, this is where I would direct you to ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. These are the best overall. I've tested a whole bunch of VPNs and they came out on top for the most part. They will easily cater to at least 97% of the VPN user base. They're constantly being updated and maintained. And with these, you can do any VPN task for the most part, super smoothly, super consistently and reliably without any hiccups. Now, if you want to feel as safe as possible and you want to use the most reliable and consistent VPN, and again, something that's incredibly easy to use and the biggest number of countries at 105 countries, then ExpressVPN would be your go to here. Now, if 105 countries is not that impressive and you're OK with 84 countries, then you can go with NordVPN. This is arguably the fastest VPN in the industry purely thanks to the Nordlinks protocol, which you should always be using with NordVPN. Not just that, it's got a bunch of features that can be very useful in a handful of situations. My favorite is the threat protection, which acts like a little bit of a 
a mini antivirus and malware blocker. So yeah, NordVPN is a great option. You'll be able to secure up to six devices per subscription while you'll be able to secure up to eight with Express. Now, if you're thinking, hey, a free VPN was giving me an unlimited number of devices to be secured with one subscription with Atlas VPN, right? Well, you can still do that with Surfshark, but obviously there are no data caps. You have a hundred countries at your disposal. It'll be much faster than Atlas VPN. You'll be able to stream all kinds of streaming platforms uh, with Surfshark very easily, super compatible with torrenting. You've got all the features that you can expect from a premium VPN. And as far as value for the money, the one plan, which is basically the higher tier plan for Surfshark, comes with a VPN, identity protection features, a safe search feature, and an antivirus, all of that will be still cheaper than NordVPN's standard plan. So that's how much value you're getting with Surfshark. So if you're looking for the best budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without sacrificing features from premium VPNs, then Surfshark is your best option. And again, all of these work for streaming, torrenting, they'll secure your device so that nobody is able to know what you're doing online, whether it's your ISP or government. And overall, they are very high performing. Now, if you end up getting any of them, you probably want to be careful which one you go for. So let's just go to ExpressVPN here to give you an example, because a lot of people end up spending more money on the monthly plan, thinking they're not going to need the VPN for more than a month. So they get the monthly plan and it keeps resubscribing at this very expensive rate because they end up using the VPN for much longer than just a month. So if you know you're going to need the VPN for no longer than a month, definitely go for the monthly plan. But if you know you're going to use it for much more than a month, then consider a plan that drops the monthly rate so that you can save much more money in the long term. Just one thing to be careful of. And the 30 day money back guarantee and discount that you see is also available for all the other VPNs. So if you're interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn a little bit more about them. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.